Radio Raheem here with Max Kellerman. Now, Max, obviously we're here for Manny Pacquiao and Juan Marquez 4. Um, first of all, give me your thoughts on the first three fights. It was as much controversy as there's been. How did you score them? Uh, I thought that, well, this is actually documented because uh, HBO right now, we have a piece out on my analysis of the fights, but I thought Marquez won the first fight by three points. I thought after the first couple of rounds, he won just about every other round of the fight. Um, so I had him wide on rounds, but with the three knockdowns in the first round, three on points. Second fight, I thought Pacquiao did a much better job of winning rounds from Marquez, not just blitzing him early. Mm -hmm. But I still thought Marquez won 7-5. You take off a point for the knockdown, it's a one-point fight for Marquez. Third fight, I thought it was a draw. So, <laughs> really, I th I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with the judges in the sense that every time the judges think Pacquiao does a little better, right. and so do I. The difference is they started with a draw, and I started with a, a, a pretty decisive Marquez win. But uh, I have it 2-0-1 Marquez, and the judges have it 2-0-1 Pacquiao, but we all agree that Pacquiao's doing a little better in every fight. So with Juan's assertion that basically Pacquiao has kind of stolen his would-be life, he even wrote a book, I Beat Manny Pacquiao, you obviously think he's got a legitimate gripe. Do you think that Pacquiao... But that's not the reason. Marquez, if he beat, gets a decision against Pacquiao, he doesn't have Pacquiao's career. You know, Pacquiao is a more charismatic fighter because he's more of an attacking fighter he's more of sort of a physical phenom he's a more explosive puncher so it, it, of course it helps Marquez if he wins but I don't know by how much I think Marquez has been a pretty big deal since the first Pacquiao fight partly as a result of how he did against Pacquiao let me ask you this do you think that Marquez can still beat elite fighters he's obviously got Pacquiao's number but after this fight where does he go win lose or draw by the time a guy has been known as an elite fighter for a bunch of years. The kind of elite fighters that he can beat are usually the older so-called elite fighters. You know, when you think about <coughs> pound for pound in the world right now, where guys are ranked, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, Juan Manuel Marquez, until recently Miguel Cotto, were ranked at or near the top. But in fact, at, the, at this moment, who are the hardest fighters to beat? Probably Andre Ward. Nonito Donaire, uh, uh, Gennady Golovkin, right? The, the young, in their prime, uh, top fighters. But those guys generally don't get fights against the older established fighters. So in terms of how much does Marquez have left, is he still elite? Of course you have to consider him elite still. He's competing against other older elite fighters, mm -hmm. specifically Pacquiao. But uh, in terms of where that division or that kind of air, weight area is going. At 135 pounds, you have Adrian Broner. Right. At 160 pounds, you have Gennady Golovkin. You know, at 168 to 75, Andre Ward. At 126 and in, in, at 22 and six, you have uh, Nonito Donaire, and, and those are the guys who, going forward, are going to be dominant. Now, with all that said, both of these guys are claiming <clears throat> that they have something I got new. A radio show to do. Something but. new to bring to the fight. Can, are they able to make an adjustment to significantly change what we've seen three times out already? I think they've both adjusted. I think Pacquiao has consistently adjusted to Marquez's boxing and Marquez to Pacquiao's aggression. And I think actually probably the best thing for both of these guys is not to adjust so much to what the other guy is doing, to go back to what they do best, specifically Pacquiao, which is attack. You know, if you, if you go in thinking, I have to adjust because this guy's a good counterpuncher, you're already muting you know, what you do. Right. And, and so I think that maybe the best adjustment they can make is to go back to doing what they do. And very last question, Max. 50 Cent. He is bringing a new element into boxing. There's, there's a ton more press here for him than there would have been if he weren't here. Do the radio. What, what do you think is, what, what do you think is his, what do you think he's going to do? I, with I, 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 I don't know. You know, he's been very successful at um, everything he's done. He's had he's built up hundred million dollar plus businesses in music, and then in um, uh, 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 vitamin water, right? And now, and he has a couple other things cooking Is now. And he, sport? yeah, I, th I mean, I, I, well, that remains to be seen. But he's good at making a fortune in like every business he goes into. So you know, I, I wouldn't doubt him in boxing. Do your radio thing. Thanks so much for the time, right. Radio Rahe with Max Kellerman. <laughs>